If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to get notification of our new videos. Please find the link of this handwritten notes in the description below and download these notes and print it out and then uh, again go with the lecture. So this will be very helpful for you. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome to mbcs.com. So this is the first video on dermatology subject uh, and uh, we will cover all the topics of dermatology. We will cover whole the subject of dermatology in uh, this month. So please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more videos. So the first lecture is on cells of epidermis and uh, to know the dermatology we have to start from the beginning we have to build our concepts about the dermatology so uh, we should know the skin is comprised of skin is comprised of epidermis this dermo epidermal junction this dermis and subcutis part so look at this diagram this is epidermis part okay this is epidermis this is dermis part and the section between this this part is dermo epidermal junction which connects epidermis to the dermis okay and the last part which is this part is subcutis part okay so the topmost part is epidermis this is dermis and this is subcutis Okay, and this part, this whole part is dermo epidermal junction. Okay, so now coming to the epidermis part. So we should know the cells as the topic suggests the cells of epidermis. So the cells of epidermis are there are four cells. First is keratinocytes, second are melanocytes, Merkel cells, and Langerhans cells. So the most important and the most abundant part of uh, uh, epidermis is comprised of keratinocytes okay so the hallmark for keratinocytes is the hallmark feature for keratinocyte is presence of keratin filament okay this keratin filament is also known as tenofilaments or intermediate filaments okay suppose uh, we have keratin in our cells keratin and keratinocytes and these are two types of keratins number one is soft keratin or it can be hard keratin okay so the soft keratin has low disulfide bonds in it and hard keratin has more disulfide bonds okay so the example of soft keratin is example is this is skin and this is nails because nails are hard and skin is soft okay so the most abundant cells in our epidermis is keratinocytes it's comprised of 90 percent of cells in epidermis okay so the keratin is a heterodimers uh, so suppose we have this uh, this is heterodimer k5 and k14 suppose this is one dimer this is uh, one filament and this is second filament there are two filaments present together which is known as dimer okay this these are dimers so this k5 and k14 is present in stratum basal layer so what is a stratum basal so we should know about the layers of epidermis so the layer of epidermis are there are five layers stratum corneum stratum lucidum stratum granulosum stratum spinosum and stratum basal okay this stratum cornea is the top most layer of epidermis and this is deepest layer deepest layer okay so the basal it is on the base so it is deepest and corneum is on top of the epidermis now coming to the another another type of cells which are melanocytes so we also have uh, uh, melanocytes in our epidermis which are not so abundant as keratinocytes so i draw this diagram these are melanocytes and it forms 
melanosomes in it okay these are melanosomes okay and these melanosomes are transferred to the adjacent epithelial cells by the dendrites this goes to the epidermal cells these are the epidermal cells okay so uh, it is present in the stratum base layer which is the deepest layer of the melanocyte and these cells are derived from neural crest okay so you have to remember one more thing in it that there are 36 retinocytes per melanocyte okay and this is known as this is known as epidermal melanin unit okay this is known as epidermal melanin unit so these melanocytes are responsible for the skin colors so there are certain uh, different types of skin colors of different people so this is because of melanocytes which forms the melanin now coming to the another type of cells uh, which are merkel cells merkel cells are the touch cells okay these are the touch cells uh, and this is type 1 slow adapting touch receptors okay and this is also present in stratum basal layer which is the deepest layer of the epidermis okay and these uh, merkel cells are present in the retina ridges so what is retina ridges this is present in retina ridges okay so what are the retina retina ridges uh, suppose this i draw this dermo epidermal junction here suppose this is dermo epidermal junction here it here is epidermis and here is dermis okay so the downward there are two types of projection the downward projection and the upward projection the downward projection is known as retina ridges okay this downward projection is known as retina ridges so these cells are present in retina ridges now coming to another types of cells which are langerhans cells which are also important cells so the langerhans cells now coming to the langerhans cells this these cells are these cells are apc antigen presenting cells so the function are phagocytosis okay and uh, this is present in stratum spinosum layer and the characteristic feature of this langerhans cells is that it has rods or we can say racket granules because it uh, it has granules which is shape of racket or it is also known as berbic granules okay so these are the types of cells these langerhans cells are decreased in the case of uh, psoriasis sarcoidosis or contact dermatitis and it is increased in the langerhans langerhans cells histocytosis which is also known as histocytosis x okay so these are the type of cells let me show you uh, these cells in this diagram so this is the diagram for langerhans cells so we have keratinocytes in it which are present in all the layers the cells here are keratin here this cell is keratin this cell is keratin this is also keratin this is also keratin keratin is present everywhere that's why it is uh, around 90% uh, of uh, epidermis now the another cell which is here it is langerhans cell okay langerhans cell we have merkel cell and the another type of cell which is melanocyte okay so we have three types of cells and we have langerhans cells in it okay so these are the cells this is melanocyte this is melanocyte 
this is Merkel cells and these are Langerhans cells okay so this is all for this video so thank you for watching and please subscribe our channel for more videos in the next video we will discuss briefly about uh, the layers of epidermis so thank you for watching keep subscribing and share this video with your friends thank you